Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Lone Wolf 902. In today's video, I have an experiment that I want to try. So you can see I have a few things here on the table. One item is a titanium stove pipe for my wood stove. I have two hurricane style lanterns. I have a thermometer. I have some aluminum foil and then I have the rest of the rings to the stove pipe. So what my experiment is going to be is can you heat the inside of a hot tent using a hurricane lantern? Now, this large hurricane lantern is what I would want to test it with. However, the diameter of my pipe does not fit over top of the top of this lantern. So I'm gonna be doing this experiment with the small lantern. Now, these are filled with liquid paraffin and we'll talk about the pros and cons of this and I don't know the outcome of this, so it might not even, it might not even be a pro. But for now, the experiment, this is paraffin filled, so it is not a combustible liquid. It's not like it's gonna explode when it's under heat. Uh, but if you're familiar with hurricane lanterns, how they work, basically there's a wick inside and you can raise it, lower it. The top here is full of holes and that's what this aluminum foil is going to be for. Not necessarily the top, but the down part, right where my fingers are here, there are holes that go all the way around. When I put the pipe over top, it's gonna to go over top like this. It can't get past these arms. So I'm gonna fill these holes with this piece of aluminum foil. I'm gonna wrap it all the way around sealing off those holes because these lanterns are what I consider a dirty fire. They spit a lot of black smoke. They, they really harm the, the air that you're breathing in, especially in a small tent. So we're gonna close off the holes with this. The stove pipe is gonna come down over top and all of the nasty air, the bad stuff is gonna go up and out the chimney pipe. This is gonna be a fun experiment because I have no idea what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna take this, get on top of the lantern, get the lantern in the tent, and then we're gonna start the experiment and see what happens. So really quickly, I'm gonna go over the setup of what I got here. This tent that I'm using is a canvas tent. This is the Solo Pomali tent. I chose this tent for this experiment for a number of reasons. One reason, it has snow skirts down at the bottom, so that will help block a lot of the draft. Two, it's made of canvas, so hopefully that will help hold in a lot of the heat that this tiny little lantern may or may not generate. Uh, it, it's a small tent as well, so it, it's short, so hopefully that heat will stay down and it uh, basically the heat is not gonna come from the lantern. The heat is actually gonna come from the radiating heat that is inside of this pipe. So keep in mind, this is gonna be over top like that. Any of the heat that is trapped inside of the pipe will hopefully radiate off the walls of the pipe and hopefully heat up the tent. So I've also chose today being a cloudy day. So there's not any sun that is going to hit the tent and create a greenhouse effect and warm up the tent. Today, it is currently, right now, outside, we're at 15 degrees Celsius. So 15 degrees Celsius, we're outside. I'm gonna get this in, I'm gonna get it set up, I'm gonna light it, and basically gonna start the experiment and let it sit there for an hour, two hours, and see what kind of heat can be generated inside. Okay guys, coming inside of the tent, basically I've got the setup ready. So, I got this piece of wood down here that is holding the lantern. I have my stove pipe over top of that. It is very, very secure. It's not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere either, so I'm gonna be watching this. Now, I do still need to take my aluminum foil and wrap those bottom holes, but I can't do that until after I light it because the lantern goes up and it'll actually crumple this. So, it's gonna be a little bit of, of hand work involved there, but I'm going to light the lantern and get it going. I just wanted to show you guys how it's situated and then I'm gonna button up the doors and I'm gonna let it go for two, three, maybe even four hours. Check on it periodically. Now, up top, I do have my thermometer hanging. It is still 16 degrees Celsius, okay? So I'm gonna hang this up top. It's gonna to remain there the whole time. Get that back up there. And I'm basically going to light the lantern and get this started. So, kind of uncomfortable right now. I'm crouched down, I'm trying to get in the shot and and not be out of the shot and whatnot. So let's get this lit. I have to open the lantern, which is the, the difficult part being set up in here. And let's get this guy going. Now, I do have this full of paraffin, so it will burn a long time. And we'll talk about that in just a second. I just want to get this lit. Okay, there we go. We will drop the lid here, lower that wick down and then quickly get my aluminum foil in here before it gets too hot and I burn my hands. And this is just to seal off those lower holes so none of that smoke comes inside of the tent. 
Now, this is not going to be sealed 100% perfect. I know that. This is just a real quick experiment that it's it's been killing me. It's been, I've been dying to know what will happen. Will it work or will it not work? So let's get this going and then we'll talk about the experiment a little bit more outside of the tent. That pipe is already warm. Okay, so this might actually be an interesting experiment. So I'm gonna close up the tent, seal it up nice and tight, and then we're gonna talk about the experiment outside of the tent. All right, so coming outside of the tent, I just wanna show this angle of it. Right now, the pipe is full length. I'm not gonna cut a pipe to do this experiment with, but I will mention, I have a general rule of when you're using a wood stove to go 24 inches above the peak of the tent for safety. The bonus with this is you could actually cut the pipe right here. There are no sparks or embers coming out of this. It's just smoke. Now, if I look up at the very, very top of this two meter pipe, I can actually see the heat waves coming out of the top of the pipe. So this experiment might actually work. I'm not totally sure. If I touch it down here, I can actually feel it warm up at that height. Now keep in mind, this is a small lantern and that is approximately three feet away from the flame. And it's still warm up there and it's titanium. It dissipates heat really, really easily. So this might be a very, very liable packing method because you would only need about a two and a half, three foot section, if that, of titanium pipe, which is extremely lightweight. So got the pipe on there, the lantern's in there burning. I can see the heat waves coming out of the top. Let's talk about some of the pros and cons and why I would even think of doing this in the first place. Okay, so what's the thought process behind this experiment? One, like I already mentioned, I would rather use the large lantern for this experiment. However, the pipe will not fit over top. So kind of rule that out, but I would suggest if you're gonna try this yourself, a larger lantern may be best. I, I don't know, we're gonna find out a little later on because you can see the tent's back there, still burning. So the idea with this experiment is I really do enjoy hurricane lanterns and I like having them outdoors, but I also like bringing them indoors the tent, inside of the tent. Now, whenever I bring these inside of the tent, it it's a horrible smell, it's terrible. It spits black smoke, it's not the safest thing, so you gotta crack the door and then it gets cold and whatnot. So my thoughts of this is if I'm out doing a cold camp and I don't wanna bring my wood stove, that also means I don't have to spend a lot of time collecting firewood. So I can hike longer and arrive to camp later and not worry about firewood. So I can bring my lantern with me, use it indoors, outdoors, and have basically a heat source, hopefully, hopefully a heat source, we're gonna find out. But the idea is if this can put out heat, it can also put out light. I can bring liquid fuel, so I can visually see how much is in there and not have to cut firewood. Now, another aspect to this experiment is titanium wood stoves can be very costly. However, they are an extremely, extremely valuable investment. They last a long time. Stainless steel stoves are less costly. However, they're heavy and often bulkier. A lantern isn't a wood stove. However, you can modify these with coat hangers or wire, put a little grate on top. You can actually boil water on top of these with a pot or a kettle. So you can actually cook with your lantern and light at the same time without having to cut firewood. So having a lantern is a safe method of fire. There's no spark spitting out of here. It does have a nice carry handle. You can move it indoors, outdoors. It, it's pretty safe. So having a wood stove in your tent spits a lot of sparks. You have to watch out for it. Longer pipe, spark arresters, and so on. I have a video on safety on hot tents. If you want to check it out, check it out. I cover a lot in it. But having the lantern rules out the process of firewood. It rules out the sparks. It rules out the bulk of carrying. You only have to bring realistically one liter of liquid paraffin, and that one liter will last you two, maybe even three nights of running the lantern all night. The wick goes up and down. It burns a minute amount of wick over hours. So I have a strand in here that's probably about eight inches long. That will last me months and months and months. I'm not worried about running out of wick. So I bring a one liter bottle of paraffin and I pour it in there, light it. When I'm done, I dump it back into the bottle. I put this in or on my pack, maybe even carry it in my hand, and I don't have to worry about sloshing or spilling anywhere. So. It, it's kind of a fun little experiment. I mean, if we can use our lantern inside of our tent and not worry about catching anything on fire, that's a pretty good trade-off. So hopefully this actually works out with that small lantern and we can actually generate enough heat 
So like I said, we're at 16 degrees. I ideally, I'd like to see a four or five degree increase and that's in Celsius. I would like to see a four to five degree increase on a day like this. It's a stretch, I don't know, I might hit more, I might not even increase at all. We're gonna find out. But if you guys have any guesses, drop it down in the comment section right now. That little lantern in that canvas tent, how many degrees do you think it will go up? So let, remember, we're at 16 degrees. Drop down your guess in the comment section right now where we're gonna be after two hours, because two hours is gonna be the first check that I'm gonna go over, unzip the door, and really quickly look at that thermometer and see what the temperature is. And then I'm gonna let it go again for another two hours to get a really good idea of how hot that pipe's gonna get, how much fuel we're gonna go through, and how hot the tent is going to get. So. It's gonna be a really, really fun experiment because having the lantern in there, in inside of the tent, is going to put off that nice warm glow all night. It's there, it hopefully will put off some heat, but it'll put off that nice warm glow and all that nasty byproduct of burning is gonna go up and out the pipe and out of the tent. So we don't have to use our flashlights, we don't have to kill our batteries, we can just use a paraffin lamp. So, looking at the tent right now, I'm itching to go over there, I'm not going to, but I do wanna go have a look at the pipe because over here I can still see heat waves coming up out of it. Let's go over and let's go have a look. Okay, so coming over to the stove jack area, one thing I do want to point out is there is a gap around this pipe. Now that gap is actually there by design. I've explained this in my hot tent series, why that's there and how it introduces air and helps heat exit and whatnot. I didn't clog that, okay? So when I run this with the wood stove, it's important not to clog that. I don't know why there's so many people basically new people to hot tenting that feel the need that they need to clog that. They need to seal that up and make this air tight. When you're running a wood stove inside of a tent, there are so many BTUs coming out of that wood stove. Clogging this little gap is not a concern, trust me. You're gonna wanna leave that open and have some of that heat get out. And one thing I will mention, if you're worried about water getting inside, this yellow rope, you're actually supposed to turn outwards up top it's actually pushed down the pipe is warm i don't want to touch it right now but this rope is supposed to be pointing upwards so when the water comes down and hits it it goes around so that stops the rain from going inside so this needs to be turned up kind of like pop in your collar type thing right you don't need to clog that these fire material jacks are fireproof that's why they're made for a stove jack they're fireproof you can hold a lighter and a match to that it will not catch on fire i'm going to show you at the end of this video it won't catch on fire. Now, that's what I wanted to point out is I did not clog this hole. So running with, with a wood stove in here, that hole is not gonna make any difference. There's gonna be so much heat, so many BTUs in there, this hole is not gonna make a difference. Running the lantern in there, I don't think it's gonna put out a lot of heat, a lot of BTUs. So having this gap here may actually harm the effect of the lantern. It might not heat, that heat might be coming out of that hole, who knows? Uh, it's kind of like running a candle in there. I mean, the candle is not going to heat the tent. It may warm it up. This is essentially a large candle. So who knows? We'll see what happens. Okay, so it's been our two hour mark and I'm about to open up the tent door and check on the tent to see what the temperature is. What are your guesses? I hope you got something down in the comment section and don't change it. Leave your guess because I'm really interested to see what everyone was thinking. Let's unzip it and let's take a look. Twenty-two degrees Celsius. Ho, 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 ho. All right, so I have got to be completely honest. I did not expect that significant change in temperature. We started at 16 degrees and it went up to 22 when I checked. It was actually 23 degrees it went up to. 23 degrees Celsius from 16 with this tiny little hurricane lantern. One thing to note, the pipe, I can actually touch it. It's really not hot up here. Definitely not hot. I mean, I'm holding on to it. I'm not burning my hand. So it's not putting out a ton of heat, but with the door shut, it accumulates quickly. So one thing I will mention is I did not do a very good seal at getting the pipe on there because the pipe is actually a different diameter than the bottom of the, or the top of the lantern. So the pipe diameter is set by the rings and the rings are actually smaller than the top of the lantern. So what's happening with this pipe is it's coming down nice and straight and then it gets to the lantern and it starts to open up a little bit. So if I were to do this 
and actually run it like this, I would get the same diameter ring that holds the pipe together. So it's a nice straight pipe all the way up. And then I would add a fire rope material to a wood stove door. I would add that around the top and then snug that pipe right up to it because I do have a little bit of smell from the, the paraffin burning inside and there is a little bit of a smell. So to end that completely, you would have to really seal up that lantern really tightly to get a really good seal from that smoke. All right, so experiment is working really, really well. Before I tear this whole thing down, like I said, I'm gonna light a match and I'm gonna hold it to that stove jack to prove once and for all, the stove jack is fireproof. Many of us hot tenters already know that. People that are getting into it might not be totally comfortable with that. Watch this. All right, so that little demonstration with the match, I only held it there for a few seconds. Just to show, you can hold the lighter there. It will discolor the, the jack, but it's not going to burn. It's not gonna catch on fire. Even when these pipes get red hot, if it touches that yellow rope, it's not going to burn. So, very simple experiment. Try it yourself, take your stove jack, and I, and I highly recommend if you do have a stove jack material, try it. Take a lighter and hold it underneath of it and see what happens. That's an open flame. That's hotter than the pipe is going to get. So, very, very simple. I'm going to tear this entire setup down, get the lantern out of here, get the tent down, get it all cleaned up, get it back to the tabletop, and wrap this up with my final thoughts. Okay, so let's wrap this up. What did I learn from this experiment? One, I learned that this is absolutely a formidable way to heat a small tent. That worked really well. It worked way better than I even thought. This guy would probably work even better. Now, I did notice that when I mentioned the smell, first off, the, the aluminum is perfectly fine. Not burnt, not melted, nothing wrong with that. The smell that I was smelling after investigating this was actually the paint burning off of this, this lantern. So you'll notice that this is nice and green up here. The red paint is burned off. So that was actually coming out underneath the pipe and burning off, and that's where the smell was coming from. Pipe, again, you do not need a full length pipe for this. You only need it probably, I want to say like maybe six inches coming out of the tent. It's not hot, you can touch it, perfectly fine. Now, as a disclaimer, I'm not going to tell you to do this, okay? I'm actually going to suggest you don't try this. However, if you do decide to try this on your own, I'm dying to hear how it worked out. I want to hear some numbers, but I'm going to say don't do it because it is dangerous. Anytime you burn a fuel, gasoline, kerosene, whatever, there are byproducts from that fuel that are not good for your health, okay? So, this little lantern made another increase after an additional two hours. So, we hit from 16 to 23, we maxed out. I even got it up to 27 degrees Celsius. After an additional two hours, cranking up that flame and really getting it rocking, I have enough fuel in here easily for another four to six hours, okay? So it burned for four hours. We've got another additional four, possibly six hours in there because it only went down about halfway. That's a whole night in the wintertime. I mean, that's for one little fill up. Now, like I was saying, if you brought a one liter bottle, even a container the size of this stove pipe, that's like three, four nights right there, full nights. So. I had a lot of fun with this. The findings were very, very interesting. I am gonna be checking the comment section for your numbers, so please leave your guesses there because I really wanna see what the original guesses were and where you guys had your mind set at. So, very fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Peace out and stay safe outside. Stay safe and have fun outside. This is the, the fall season, winter season. This is a great time to get outdoors. Get out there and have fun.